So I'm just about to go out and do my very first vlog on my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And for this particular vlog, I will just concentrate on the front facing camera and also the internal microphones. Now just a quick rundown of the actual setup that I'm using here. The tripod is by a company called Goo Photo. The case that I'm using for the S22 is by a company called Rinker. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I am also using two Rycoat Micro Wind Jammers here because it is very windy out today and I'm not too sure how bad it's going to be. Okay so to start this vlog off then I'm just going to walk up the bridle path next to the park that I go to but unfortunately <laughs> it is really windy. <laughs> so I think all the way through this particular video I'm going to be making comments about the wind and stuff and just well are the microphones being wiped out or are the dead cats doing their job. Anyways as far as the setup is concerned I am just using the basic camera app i'm in 4k 30 and that's it so no manual intervention in any way whatsoever completely automatic as in straight out of the box so the most basic way you can use this phone for vlogging now just in case the wind is wiping out the microphones i've just come to somewhere where it's a little bit more sheltered at the moment because obviously i need to kind of get a good idea of what the sound is like without too much wind just in case it is getting wiped out however i'll just do some cutaways here which i'm going to record on the main rear camera in 8k showing you some of the devastation just where i am here so it's obvious that over the last few days, a number of trees have come down because they've been really unsafe. They've had to be chopped up and stuff like that. So yeah, it just shows how bad the winds have been around here at the moment. Now, something that's gonna be really good about this particular setup that I'm using here, because obviously I'm using this little tripod vlog thing for the phone, is that I can just plant it down on a wall. So as you can hopefully see here from the other camera, I've literally just popped the little rig system onto a wall here. So if you're out and about and you're just doing your regular vlog type thing but you kind of like see something cool in the background or something i mean i don't know how cool these trees are at the moment but if you see something dead cool in the background you can just plop it down onto a wall like i've done here now the other thing that i've done here as well is to just switch off the stabilizer because it's not required when like you know with stationary which obviously means that you can get even closer if you want to which means that you're getting closer to the microphones as well and you're able to get like you know a louder like dialogue sound going in however you can also walk around the microphones are going to start dropping off like as far as my voice is concerned as i'm going to walk around but you could be somewhere where you just want to walk around in the frame like this and have people see exactly what it is and where you are and whatnot that you are doing and on the point of just being able to conveniently pop down your s22 anywhere really that you want to once it's on this little tripod system you could do these arty type shots like this where you kind of do that thing where you get up and you walk away from the camera now i'm just going to do a test by some noisy traffic okay so not only is this a tough test anyway to be like trying to vlog on a smartphone with the built-in microphones on a busy main road like I am right now but it is also still really breezy and windy so yeah two bad things going on here loads of traffic and stuff like that so can we still hear my dialogue and even if we can hear my dialogue is it distorting because of the wind are the dead cats doing their job properly now I don't think that the dead cats are going to wipe out all the wind however if enough of the wind is being like you know kept out of the, the recording and we can mostly hear my dialogue then that's kind of job done as far as that's concerned now so far in the video as this other camera should show us here i've just been holding this all straight up as it were and so what i'm going to do now is twist the ball head around so i can get extra reach for my field of view so as we should hopefully be able to see once again from my other camera here i have now got the ball head joint at almost 90 degrees which means i can obviously get my arm and reach further out because now the legs are kind of pointing further away from me which obviously means i get a much wider field of view once again because the phone is further away from me okay so in between these takes then it's starting to hailstone and obviously there's a ton of wind and stuff and things like that so i think it's about time for me to get off i'm just going to shoot off indoors have a quick look at this and then right now i'm going to tell you what i think 
Well, having looked at that footage and listened to it, all I can say is that was absolutely fantastic. I seriously didn't think it was going to be as good a picture quality as I've just seen on there. Also, the stabilization seemed to be great as well on the S22. So all in all, picture quality, stabilization, massive thumbs ups as far as those are concerned. And as far as the audio was concerned as well, I thought that that was fantastic for onboard microphones. Now, just to be clear here, what it is, the S22 records with two microphones. I only used one of them in post. And that's only because if you use the two of them, as you're moving around, you kind of get weird stereo effects and stuff like that. Just isolating to one microphone just means that your dialogue is always permanently centered in the stereo field, which is better for something like this. And those Ryko Micro Windjammers made a massive difference as well. I seriously think that they knocked out the vast majority of what was going on there with the wind. In certain parts of those shots there, you could see those trees and the way they were moving about so those wind jammers were absolutely awesome and then as far as the tripod is concerned i just thought that was fantastic the fact that i could just like pop it down on the wall and then also on the ground as well was brilliant anyways there will be a bunch of links in the description below to this video taking you to where you can buy anything that i've used in this video and if you've liked the video please give it a massive thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel getting all over the bell notification icon to be notified of similar videos like this in the future i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.